It's the National Football League on EA Sports, and we've got the latest chapter of a historic rivalry. It's the Chiefs and the Silver and Black, coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Las Vegas, Nevada. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. we go from Las Vegas. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. So out come the Raiders for their opening drive and at the helm in his first year in silver and black. Sixth season overall, Gardner Minshew. And he's someone who brings a ton of personality with him, but don't let that fool you. He's more than capable of playing winning football at this level and has actually done so. I don't know if he's their long-term answer under center, but as long as he trots out there, they'll have a puncher's chance and maybe a bit more to compete with any team they line up against. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. First carry now for Alexander Madison. And he'll hope that this is not a sign of what's in store as he has to fight just to get back to the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the game's first play. And it's second down now. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go. And sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. And this defense able to plug him up there as he'll get a yard to the 35. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? So trouble already here on their opening drive. This is third and nine. Off play action, it's Minshew. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football, and it's picked up by the Chiefs. And he has brought this one back. A fumble recovery for a Chiefs touchdown. So the big fella gets on the scoreboard with a return for a touchdown. Good thing he didn't have to go too far, though. You know the trainers were very happy about that. Imagine having to go get him in the end zone, escort him to the bench, and give him the oxygen. They were loving the fact that he got in without having to run very far. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. And his kick is good to make it 7-0 KC. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense.
Looking to throw it. Minshew. Tucker hauls it in over the middle. So the completion good for six yards. And it's second down. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short gain. Here's Minshew. And that is incomplete. Nearly intercepted. The free safety couldn't quite get his hands around it, and it brings up third down. Tremendous coverage there. Just did not catch the football and complete the interception. But what do they say all the time? If he had really good hands, he'd be playing offense. Minshew sets to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, a lot of times when you get a manageable third down situation like this, you have to think about your tight end. And he comes through for him, picking up the first down. Here's Madison running on first down. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Here's Madison getting it again on second. And he'll take it across the 50 and into Chief territory. Four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 22-yard line. A gain of 26 on the third down conversion. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot and they connected there and picked up a first down. They'll go play action here with Minshew. And this one too low. They had their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Here's second and ten. Now Minshew. Blitz coming and down he goes. George Karloftis just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. All about the offense so far this drive, putting something sustained together. But the defense, they responded on that play. Second and manageable became third and long. The drive marching to the end zone is one play from stalling out. Ninth play of the drive now on third and a country mile. They'll set up a throw. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And oh, a little spin cycle. Room to run now. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. 14 yards is the pick up there, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. Nice job understanding the situation. Third and long, kept the play in front of them and made the tackle. They gave up a good chunk of yardage, but it does force a fourth down. The kick by Carlson is good, and they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. to three. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one-possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks, you tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal, you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game.
After the made field goal, Carlson now sets up to kick this away. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Now we get a stoppage because a member of the Raiders shaken up on that one. We'll take a break and get a report from Vegas after this. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10, just shy of the 30. They run with a veteran speedster. It's Kareem Hunt. He'll work his way up the middle for a gain of about four, second down. Well, in every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown, so a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. In motion, the tight end. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. Now here's Mahomes. He'll find Juju Smith-Schuster. That's a gain of 11. Would have been a first down if not for that penalty moments ago. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. and He's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. Just about every coach we talk to says the crowd shouldn't affect us. That shouldn't be an issue. And then the next breath they talk about taking the crowd and taking them out of the game by picking up first downs and keeping them at bay. I think we just saw an example of that there, didn't we? Important to do, especially early in the game. Mahomes hit. He lost the football. And the Raiders pick it up. That is into the end zone. It's a fumble return for six and a Raider touchdown. And Charles, look at the big fella. What a rumble that was. Not only to scoop it, but then take it the rest of the way for the touchdown. And now you know they're going to have to hear about it from now on. The defensive backs, he's going to want to run with them, do their drills, the whole deal. He thinks he's the pace setter now. It doesn't matter what happens in practice this week. He's smiling. Now for the extra point, Daniel Carlson. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. So not only the cough up, but then the pickup on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. In motion, the tight end, Kelsey. 
to throw. It's Mahomes. Finds his receiver, Watson. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. And from the 34, here's second and four. Mahomes going to throw. He'll get this into the hands of the rookie from Texas. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. His first catch there, good for 10 yards and a first down. And he's starting to make his way pretty well here in the NFL. We all know about the speed. Set the combine record for the 40-yard dash at 4 2 one. That sets him apart. But in addition, a good route runner, strong hands, and knows how to fight for the football. A quick throw there is incomplete. In any event, it happened pretty quickly. I'm not sure he made the right decision on that one. I think if he had it to do over again, he would have found a different target downfield. But he made his decision, and that one's incomplete. Second and ten. Mahomes going to hand it off to Hunt. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. Five yards. Now it's third and five. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Third and five. They fake the give. Now Mahomes work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 40. 12 yards on third down as the drive rolls on. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory, right at the 40. Now Mahomes. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here in this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Throwing now is Mahomes. Open man completes it to Smith-Schuster. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. I think as he began this throw, you saw that the area was congested, but he has a lot of confidence in his arm, and he fits that one in there nicely. They pick up the catch. Not much yardage afterwards. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. In motion goes the tight end. Here's Mahomes to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders 23. So we pause for an injured player, and now what you want to see, Juju Smith-Schuster, he's in some pain out there. We'll take a break and get a report from Vegas after this. Now it's Mahomes again. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. And there wasn't much room for the big tight end to do much after the catch. But at least he was able to pick up a solid gain to help his offense continue to move in the right direction. Second and a couple. The offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. So the delay of game penalty backs him up. It's now second and seven. Now a toss running left. Hunt 
And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. I like the call. Inside the red zone, running the toss. Why? They want to get to the edges. They want to see if guys who don't normally make a lot of tackles are willing to actually do that. That usually means the guy's in the cornerback position. Here's third and six. On play action, it's Mahomes. And he's wrapped up, taken down, back at the 25. Max Crosby blowing up the play and getting the sack. We're talking about how teams are so competitively matched and you just want to make those plays that give you an advantage. How about right here? The difference between let them score a touchdown versus holding them to a field goal, that's absolutely huge with the play he just made. And you know he hated taking the loss there on third down. So on fourth down, the home's off. Harrison Butker on for the Chiefs field goal. From the left hash, it's a 42-yard attempt. Butker's kick here is good, and that will knot us up at 10. So a dozen plays on that drive, CD, but in the end, it yields just the three points. Well, they were able to keep the defense on the field for a long time, but let's be honest about it. That was about as unsatisfying a drive as you're going to get. 12 plays, and you only get three points out of it. Not quite the ending they were looking for. All level now at 10 apiece as the kick's away. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. And a methodical drive last time, but they couldn't get that knockout blow. They had to settle for three. But you got to like what they've been doing along the way, right? It's almost like the body blows, the setup punch. As you said, they didn't get the knockout blow here, but that doesn't mean it can't come later in the game on another possession. And the defense on the other side. Maybe a little gas, yeah, right? Yeah, a little tired. And if nothing else, they just feel relieved getting on field and giving up three. They don't exactly feel like they've handled the offense. And showcasing those strong legs on that run, getting through one tackle. Now she winds up getting eight there. You often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. These two teams all tied after one. Second quarter from Vegas, the homestanding Raiders with a football here. As they've got it with a second down and two coming up. They'll go Madison up the middle. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Seven yards there and a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation... Go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. Going to run with Madison again. And a lane slow and materializing there as he'll get maybe a yard up to the 45. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Open man is Tucker. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 41-yard line. 14 yards is the pickup there at a Raider first. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage. And that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, a tight, a sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area. So you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. Throw left side complete. That's Turner. So just three yards on the completion there. And that's going to bring up second down.
running from the shotgun with Madison. And he'll take this one down to the 36. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Looking to throw. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Absolutely no disguise on that one. They just went for it. Put him out there and said, go deep. Let's try and hit him. Unfortunately, to no avail. On fourth down, here's Daniel Carlson for the Raider field goal. And quite a bit of pizza in this box. It's a 53-yard attempt. The kick by Carlson is good, and they will take the lead at 13 to 10. Maybe a little fortunate there. That was leaking a little, maybe leaking a lot, but he got it. Yeah, he actually was able to make it work. How about the body language, though, right? As he's watching that ball leak to the right, trying to, trying to bring it back in, and had just enough to get it done. After the made field goal, Carlson now sets up to kick this away. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And they'll have very good starting field position as he's up just shy of the 40. And the Chiefs offense ready to go again. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you, you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. To begin the drive, here's a handoff to Hunt. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Well, I think after that run, the defense is getting back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? All right, second down, right back to Hunt. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Another six-yard carry, same as last play. First down. But, partner, if the defense isn't going to adjust and they keep giving them those five, six, seven-yard runs over and over, they're likely to run it the whole way to the end zone. They'll be more than happy to take the yardage available and save some of their other plays in the playbook for another time. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Got a man over the middle, Worthy. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. This second and four. Mahomes now to throw. They'll go screen here to Hunt. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. That one, a first down pickup of eight. And this pass rush has really been bringing the heat and has already gotten home a few times here in the first half. So how about the play call there? Sometimes if you can't protect, you've got to fool them. Screen passes like that can take a little steam out of what's been a relentless rush so far. Catch made by Watson on the out route. They'll give him four yards there, and that will bring up second down. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. And Kelsey's going to have a Chiefs first down as he takes it down to the 20-yard line. They'll get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. 
With no hesitations, they go right back to Kelsey. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it'll be second down. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. So from the 17, here's second and seven. They'll look to throw again. That's taken in by Watson. So the completion good for just three. And it's third and four now. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or... Better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. Again, he'll drop to throw. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he has the first down before he's tackled at the five. It goes as a gain of nine, and it moves the chains. And sometimes when you run a screen pass down in the red zone, it's really tough to create a lot of room to operate. The field's pretty condensed. But that was really well designed there, and they're able to pick up a first down. And again, it's Mahomes. And it's caught. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Justin Watson, a five-yard touchdown. And the Chiefs have regained the lead. Butker now to add the extra point. And that will make this a four-point game. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it winds up with the Chiefs hitting pay dirt. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And able to break this out all the way to the 38-yard line. Great return. The Raiders offense now. They trot back out. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you've met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants a drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Out route here, and he finds Turner. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Second down at six now from the 42. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. Looking to throw it, Minshew. And he's taken down, a Chiefs sack. Multiple defenders there to drop him for a loss of four. Now Charles dealing with a third and long. They'll have to try to go back to the air again and this time avoid the sack. Certainly hard to try to establish momentum when all you're doing is going backwards, not protecting the passer, and he gets dumped on his backside.
The Raiders on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and 15. Here's Minshew. And this is going to be incomplete. These two offenses have gone up and down the field so far in the first half. Finally, finally, I say, here's a stop on third down. So on fourth down, here's A.J. Cole to punt for the Raiders. A punt of 46, a return of five. And it's Chiefs football, first and ten. Out comes Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs offense. He had the short touchdown pass on their previous drive, and they'll begin again here on first and ten. They'll begin the drive with Hunt. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Defensively, he has been a presence in their backfield in the first half. Had a sack earlier, and now he comes up with a big tackle for a loss. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Now here's Mahomes. Finds his man, Watson, over the middle. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Good work after the catch. Gets him 15 and a first down. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Mahomes going to throw. It's Kelsey on the ground. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. From the 46, here's the second and four. To throw, it's Mahomes. Swings this out for Hunt. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. But they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field and I think in the second half that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside shotgun snap to Mahomes short throw hauled in by Kelsey and he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30 the Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit and another first down a lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. Mahomes to throw once more. Another pass into the reliable hands of Kelsey. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, Boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. This is second and eight. Throwing now is Mahomes. That one is caught by Hunt. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. Now it's Mahomes again. That ball nearly intercepted, but he could not hang on. 
Oh, pick there certainly would have been nice. Instead, at least, it'll be fourth down. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. Andy Reid, some say always unpredictable, and here he says, we're going for it on fourth down. They'll go for it. It's Mahomes. That's into the hands of Worthy. And he's going to have a first down here as he gets this one to the 17-yard line. A solid pickup of five and a very solid fourth down conversion and defensively pure frustration. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. In motion, the tight end, Kelsey. Now Mahomes. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Maybe just a lack of concentration there as he couldn't haul it in. And when you're going across the middle like that, you know, he's running that drag route, you are conscious of all the bodies and the traffic in there. But let's face it, if you're going there, you might as well come down with the football and absorb whatever else happens after that. He'll get this complete to Worthy. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. And Xavier Worthy from 17 yards out. And the Chiefs will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. And this drive, Charles, very well timed as they score with very little time remaining in this first half. And I'm reminded that they get the second half kickoff as well, so they can break this one wide open before the other guys have a chance to possess the football. Butker on for the PAT. And that one pushes the lead up to 11. So that one a long 11 play drive. And it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. One final go for this offense here in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Now just 18 seconds remain till halftime as they come up on first and 10. Now Minshew. And he's got his man in stride, complete. The Raiders gonna use one of their timeouts as he'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. Minshew sets to throw. Over the middle, hooks up with a tight end, Bowers. And he just falls short down at the one-yard line. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the right hash at a bit of a tight angle. Carlson able to put this one through, and that'll make this an eight-point game. So he's been a busy man here in this first half. That's three field goals for him now. And not just three field goals, but three for three. So even though the offense has struggled a bit putting it in the end zone, he's still been able to come away with points due to his leg.
So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And with Mahomes under center, anything's possible. Watch out for the deep ball. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And he's going to be taken down here as that will lead us to the end of the first half of play. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Chiefs on top. As we send you to our EA studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Both of these offenses had their share of high points in that first half. Each team had some big moments, and it would seem this could turn out to be a game where the last score wins. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. Ready for the start of the third quarter. The Chiefs have the lead and set to receive the football. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Chiefs offense and Patrick Mahomes headed back onto the field. And as we show you some of the highlights from earlier, he has been instrumental in getting his guys the lead as he looks to finish strong and close this one out. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well. And most importantly, partner. Yeah, they went to the tunnel with a the lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. Here's Mahomes to throw. They'll go screen here to Hunt. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. That one good for 12 yards into Kansas City first. And when you have success throwing the football, the old cliche becomes true. The playbook opens up wide. And these screen passes, they become even more difficult to stop. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. Had to do a double take on that one, Brandon, because so far in this game, we haven't seen many of his passes fall incomplete. Now a second and ten. They go play fake. Mahomes escapes the sack. He'll get this one to Kelsey. That's complete. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 23 yards the pick up there. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory as they're down to the 29-yard line. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. With no hesitations, they go right back to Kelsey. And they move this all the way down to the 9. They go right back to him for 20 and a first. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. So 
so they'll go ahead and accept the penalty. Still first down. The delay of game, a costly one, as they're backed up five for first and goal. In motion left goes a tight end. Mahomes now to throw. Forced out to his left. Nifty job there on the scramble. Got 12 yards, and now it's second down. That's the first time he's called his own number, but he's got to be overjoyed with the results. He wasn't just going to settle for a modest gain. To me, he was determined to come through with a big message to a defense that slipped on him in the pocket. From the two now, second and goal. They'll drop to throw. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. Multiple players getting home there for an eight-yard loss. So if we recount real quick, he had the touchdown earlier, and now he comes up with the sack here. No doubt about it, he's having himself a game. This will be play number eight on the drive. It's third and goal. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. The decision to tuck and run gets him three, but that's not enough. Now it's fourth. I certainly like what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice harmless slide there to avoid the big hit, and he gets a small gain on the play. Butker's kick here is good, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, they picked up right where they left off in the first half. First drive after the break, they come away with three and increase that lead. Yeah, and you just want to keep building on that lead, don't you? Whether it's six points or three points, take everything you can get, keep maneuvering, keep adding to it, keep making it difficult for them to come back. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. So here comes the Raiders offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. And their deficit a little wider now than it was at halftime following the field goal a moment ago. But the goal is still the same because you know they want to come out, establish a rhythm in the second half, and get going. Make no mistake about it, though. Kicking field goals, not in their game plan. They need to get involved in the end zone. Looking to throw it. Minshew got his man complete over the middle. That's Bowers. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. He's a rookie, and you don't want to get hung up on the word potential. But when you see him make catches like that, you keep thinking to yourself, he's good now. He's got a chance to be great with plenty of work. On the toss, Madison. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Only a gain of a yard, but that's all they needed. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Here's Minshew. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. That was a classic example of trying to run with the ball without securing the catch. He was thinking about those rack yards instead of making the catch first and then taking off. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Now a give to Madison. And space tough to come by there as he'll get maybe a yard to the 37. 
sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? A bit of a jump there, CD. He breaks the line, and that'll be five yards. And you've got to stay more disciplined than that, Brandon. That's just a free gift to the offense. So that last penalty making this third down much more manageable. Third down, four yards to go. They'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Looks like another empty possession offensively. And you're at that point in the game where you can't afford too many more of these. So this is going to require some heavy thinking on the sideline to figure out what they can do to crack this defense. Here's A.J. Cole now as he'll punt it away for the second time. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. And that one hits at the 7 but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. The Chiefs offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And he's been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one. This defense has been totally taken apart, and that is borne out in his numbers. He's been terrific all game long. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. Now here's Mahomes. Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then of course they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. They fake the give, now Mahomes. <laughs> He's going to dump this off to his running back, Hunt. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Now Mahomes gives to Hunt, shrugs him off. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. 40 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. Now after the run by Hunt, here's first and 10. They go play action. Now Mahomes. That is caught downfield. It's worthy. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A good pick up there, a 22. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. On first down, they'll run with Hunt. And some determined running there as he'll pick his way down to the 12-yard line. So that flag obviously takes away the good yardage that they had on the play. And talk about a momentum shift because we can visibly see this celebration shifting from one side of the field to the other as soon as everyone saw the flag. To throw, it's Mahomes. 
The tight end Kelsey has it over the middle. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit and another first down. What a drive this has been, just chewing up the yardage. And here's one of their best plays yet as they finally get down into the red zone and look to finish this off with six. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Mahomes going to throw. Over the middle complete. It's Watson. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Second and two, first down marker at the five-yard line. In motion, the tight end, Kelsey. And they'll accept that penalty. So the delay of game penalty backs him up. It's now second and seven. And they'll send the tight end in motion. And again, it's Mahomes. And that's a touchdown, but hold on. There is a flag down on the field. We'll have to see what this is about. So obviously they will decline the penalty there, and the result is six points. Butker now to add the extra point. And the lead is up to 18 now. So this drive spans seven plays, and it culminates in a Travis Kelsey touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Las Vegas' offense back out there, ready to go. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. This pass into the hands of Turner. Call it a gain of three on the play and that'll make it second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. On the handoff, it's Madison. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Back to the ground on first down. Here's Madison. He'll take it past the 40 to the 41, second down. That was a pretty good job defensively to hold them to a two-yard run, but I've got to think this offensive line, they're asking their quarterback for a different type of a run, one that they rely on, one they have confidence in, one they feel like they can block. From the 41, here's a second and eight. Back to throw. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. And that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man when in coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. 
This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll go play action here with Minshew. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Trent McDuffie with a pick, and the return stops at the 39-yard line. Well, this had trouble written all over from the start. He's got two extra defensive backs in the game he's got to deal with. They're in a dime set. So everywhere he's looking, he's seeing a different color jersey. And sure enough, this one winds up being intercepted. The Chiefs ready to rock again on offense. And as we look back at how we got here, you'll notice a common theme in these highlights. A lot of yardage through the air. The passing game has been sharp right from the outset. Try going up the middle. Breaks a tackle. Down at the 35. It'll be second down. But they certainly got dented with that first down run. So now they've got to be back on their heels a little bit as a defense. From the 35, here's second and six. They'll run again with Hunt. Gets by him at the 25. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. An 11-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Chiefs first down. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Las Vegas. Welcome back, everybody. It's the Chiefs with the lead and the football here as we get set for quarter number four. Throwing now is Mahomes. Short throw hauled in by Kelsey. So just three yards on the completion there. And it's second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Second and seven from the 20. Working from the gun, Mahomes finding Hardman here over the middle. This will be a five-yard pickup as they move it from the 20 to the 15. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. And that flag accepted. Not ideal there. That delay of game backs them up five yards. So now they need seven yards on third down. Now Mahomes. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Xavier Worthy. His second touchdown of the afternoon as his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. Well, partner, he has carried them in this ball game, throwing the football, all four touchdowns through the air, and that's really helped them get this nice lead. And I know it's a team game, but right now he is truly the focal point. Every touchdown his team has so far has been the result of his arm. How about him throwing it downfield, creating big plays? I don't know how you slow him down unless you can make him uncomfortable in the pocket. Extra point by Butker is on target, and they open the lead up now to 25. 
The drive summary that time, five plays. And it winds up with the Chiefs hitting pay dirt. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Now the Vegas offense heading back out there. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. That's complete to Turner. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. And with this game well in hand, perhaps we are seeing the coverage lighten up a little bit as they got burned there a bit for a first down. But we certainly know the coach isn't happy along the sideline because he certainly wants them to finish this one out the way they started it. He doesn't want to give up any soft completions, no late points. He wants his lead to stay right where it is. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. Good yardage there on first down, exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs, keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Two yards to go, second down. Now Minshew. And he's got his man on the out route. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. Minshew sets to throw. That's caught by the tight end, Harrison Bryant. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Again, Minshew looking to throw. And yeah, that incomplete nearly intercepted. And remember, he had his hands on one earlier, had one pick. Could have been his second, but instead it's fourth down. Uh, defensively, you look at the numbers, another incomplete pass that we just saw, and they're under 200 yards passing for the game, so they've done their job on that side of the ball. Yeah, recently I was actually working a game where a quarterback had a streak of five straight games without a 200-yard game, and that was a big talk, both in his town and amongst his team. How do we get the passing game going? So big credit to them holding them under 200 today. The Raiders try it on fourth down, but to no avail. And the Chiefs' defense comes up with a stop. So the defense has to stay out and get one more stop. They were able to do it, forcing the incompletion. So on their record, that goes down as a successful play. It doesn't matter how they got there, how it happened. They got it done. They're the ones that are jubilant. The Chiefs in good position to start out as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. In motion, the tight end, Kelsey. They'll start with Hunt on the ground. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Second down and eight. They run again with Hunt. 
And they'll hold him to three there as he takes this up to the 47. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Here's Mahomes to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. There's a beautiful throw there, and he's been sensational the entire game, moving it around, spreading it, hitting the right guys. And look, under normal situations, partner, I would expect him to come out of the game now. They've got it in hand. But you and I have been around this league a long time, and every time we ask head coaches about it, hey, why don't you take your quarterback out when the game's in hand? They just kind of give us that look like, that's what he's paid to do. So it's a very unusual situation. I'd want him out. They tend to leave him in. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. You know what the converse is, though? You've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks. And when you don't, that's the result you end up with. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Well, their passing attack, even though that one was incomplete, has been really sharp in this one. It's resulted in a lot of touchdowns, and it looks like they're not going to stop throwing the football until the very end of this one. Well, that will certainly make everyone involved on offense pretty happy because that gives them all a chance to pad their stats a bit. But as far as the actual need, you and I both know they can just run this clock out because this one, it was over a long time ago. That is caught, and he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 18. That one goes for 24 yards. Tell you what, partner, the way he's been slinging it in this one, I think he should be ticketed for a baseball cap and a set of headphones for the next drive. He's been absolutely sensational. But one thing we both learned about quarterbacks in this league, they often stay on the field longer than you expect. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. The tight end in motion right. And they just did not get the snap away in time. So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now. First and 15 following the delay of game. Looking to throw is Mahomes. That's into the hands of Worthy. Pitch and catch there good for 13. And they'll be left with second and a couple. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Now a second and two. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. He's into the secondary, and he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Mahomes hitting his favorite target, Travis Kelsey, on the touchdown pass. And the Chiefs start to open this lead even wider here in the fourth. And you wonder now if he might be able to remove the helmet, put on the baseball cap, and watch the rest of this one from the sideline. His fifth touchdown pass of the game. Say that again. Did you say fifth touchdown pass of the game? Yes, sir. But that's a heck of a performance, isn't it? Because they've had no answer for him at all, all game long. Receivers have been open constantly, and he hasn't missed a single one of them. Extra point by Butker is on target. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Raiders now set to get the football back. And a drive that stalled out last time. Went for it on fourth, didn't get it. How does that translate here? I would imagine momentum's with the defense. 
definitely with the defense because anytime anyone goes for it on fourth down, that's telling you as a defense that they, you can't stop us. We don't think that you can. And when you actually do, that may put a little dent in the confidence of the offense the next time they hit the field. Yeah, we'll see if they can bring that pride to the offense this go around. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there, it's going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. From the gun, Minshew to throw. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. Not what they had in mind there. That's going to go as a loss of four. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though, huh? Yeah, you went, you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. Well, this game is certainly pretty well over. They can go ahead and mark it in the win column. But as a defense, they don't want to get so soft now that everybody just throws the ball all over the place against them, gets big yardage, and puts points on the board. They have pride, too, on that side of the ball. Here's Minshew. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Draw play, Madison. And he swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and 10. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. And he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time. So make sure you get in shape. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 30. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Throw left side, pulled in by Tucker. No gain on the play. And it'll be second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Out of the gun is Minshew. Short throw caught by Bowers. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches, as we just saw him do there, because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred it defense it'll be Minshew again he's got his target that's complete and he gets it inside the 10 to the 9 they're able to convert on third down and that sets up a first and goal with the score where it is this was probably going to be four down territory if they didn't convert there but what a nice job of working his way open making sure he secured the catch and setting up first and goal looking to throw it Minshew and he will find his man on the outside. A gain of seven that time. Second goal. They'll look to throw again. That one thrown across his body, and it's incomplete. We're going to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first row. 
Third and goal, trying to make that scoreboard at least a little more respectable. Again, he'll drop to throw. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. So it's been a long drive. They've held the ball for quite a while. Now what do you do here? Well, to me, at this stage after this drive, this close to the goal line, three points would be a letdown. I'm going for it here. The kick by Carlson is good. And that will knock this down to still a very large 29-point deficit. Well, in the grand scheme of things, those three points likely not going to matter much, but I guess they get a little closer, a little more respectability. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been outplayed all game long, but like my mom used to tell me all the time before I went out, dress up a little bit, son. Make yourself respectable. <laughs> and that's what they're doing here. They're just dressing up the final score. After the made field goal, Carlson now sets up to kick this away. Fighting his way through contact. And able to break this out all the way to the 38-yard line. Great return. The visitor's offense and their quarterback headed out for this next possession. And he has been masterful so far in leading this offense. He's kept the mistakes to a minimum. He's been on point with his passes. And he's generally been one step ahead of this defense all game long. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. Well, they don't need to score here, that's for sure. They could just kneel it. They've got the huge lead late fourth quarter, but we'll see how they're feeling, Charles. Yeah, we all know people out there who like to use every second of the clock, no matter what the score. And we know they don't need the points. They've scored an abundance already. Let's find out how they want to finish this ball game. Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. With that, we say so long from Las Vegas.